Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. This is part 31 of the series. If you have not checked out the first 30 episodes, make sure that you you do the uh, check them out so that you can learn end to end Angular with me. <coughs> Today we are learning about attribute directives. This is a complete playlist index. I'm sure you're going to love and learn everything, especially the breaking changes and new additions in Angular 17. Today, what are we going to learn? Today, we are learning about attribute directives. What are attribute directives? Attribute directives are responsible for altering the behavior or appearance of DOM elements. When I say DOM elements, it can be any element in present in the web page. Attribute directives manipulate the elements custom behavior right uh, it can be <coughs> it can be say an attribute or say a styling or prefixing something etc they can be used with or without binding syntax okay so i'm going to show you different variations of it namely there are three important attribute directives that you'll work with ng class ng style and ng model these are the three built-in attribute directives Please note that we can create our own directives also, which is what I'm going to cover in the next episode. For today's episode, the context is simple, learning the built-in attribute directives. <coughs> so just to recap, ng class, ng style, and ng model. ng class will dynamically add or remove CSS classes based on expression. ng style will dynamically apply inline styles CSS styles based on certain expression. NG model provides two-way data binding that we have already covered as part of two-way data binding. But I'll just do a quick small example for you. That being said, let's jump into code. <coughs> All right, so I have my application here. We are building a crew management system. This is my app. And what we'll do is first things, let's generate a simple component called attribute directives so the reason I'm okay the reason I'm creating this is because I want you to know how things are done end-to-end -end from scratch and that's how components are generated and that's how we'll do our learning all right <coughs> so a new component is generated by the name attribute directives this is a simple component I'll go to app routes dot ts throw in a quick route so that we can check all right I'll call it um, path attributes and component and attribute compo directives component all right now let's fire up application by serving ng serve <coughs> all right if you're new here make sure that you like the video if you're already a subscriber keep continuing to support me all right so attributes and it says attribute directive works which means the route is set up the component is up if you look at that component <coughs> now what we'll do we are learning about ng class ng model so let's go ahead and add a simple button to toggle things right so in the template i'm going to throw in a button and in the button we'll say let's say toggle um, active or something like that and we can have a say paragraph or a div and based on that we will change its visibility okay this is a section to show or show or hide when button clicked <coughs> all right so we have this now you click nothing happens because we have not given any event let's go ahead add that so we'll say on click toggle active this is how you define a method it will give error here because we have not defined it in the co class components in the component class we are going to write the class to toggle this right so we need a variable <coughs> is active or you can write boolean and then make it false that's also fine this dot toggle active is equal to 
this dot toggle active so if it's on it will be off if it's off it will be on what is toggle active it's is active <coughs> alrighty so now in the template we are going to use ng class and we are going to assign a new class to it so you will write it in square bracket you will write small ng capital C ng class equal to this is where you write the expression and how do you write an expression you can write it in the curly braces so here you are doing a conditional check check for if it is active is active that's the name of the variable we gave and if it's inactive so is not is active right so take a look again here <coughs> quotes okay so here we are saying if it is active make if it is active assign this particular class if it's not active assign this class that's a simple expression that we have written and now it's time to test it or there is some error let's check what's the error <coughs> can't bind ng class since it isn't a known property of div that is another thing because right now if you see all of this is coming from component correct so <coughs> in your thing you have the component imported okay and then that's how you create a component and let's check what's happening here uh, that might be because we missed out on including some of the things in the class let's check see you got the standalone okay and it says can't bind ng class since it isn't a known property of div is it the latest okay yeah and what is what are we saying here let's check it again the syntax we put it in the square bracket then we got our curly brace open and close that's right and that might be because we'll need common module so I'm going to include that <coughs> okay so that was missing common module so I added it so now you can see here all right now I click on it and you see here class is inactive I click on it it becomes class is active right so the other way is I'm going to throw in a class say background color light blue inactive let's say background color light coral now take a look <coughs> now based on this click we are making it active or inactive and that's how it is changing the color because it's changing the class right based on a condition now same way if you continue we can also add the styling tool let's go ahead and write ng style it's again very pretty similar to what we have just done so let's create one more button say style update now here I'll have one more div and inside this I'll say update a style property using attribute directive alright and in the div what we are going to do just same way how you define ng class will define ng style now again in this instead of class name now you can directly give a background color or color or any CSS property okay it can be any CSS property now let's give a background color as a variable we'll define that in just a bit and same thing you can also say font size make sure you write it in single quotes and property will be in single quotes and <coughs> font size will be the variable so I can do something like dot px and here I'm going to define one more variable now it will say background color and font size are not defined so background color I'm going to say blue and font size I'm going to say 16 so see 
now it's blue color is applied and the font is big if you want you can make it 32 and it's bigger right now you see and <coughs> if you want that to be the entire thing you can also make it something like again basically go ahead and add all the styling that you would want and things would work out so here we are going to say height and I'm going to say auto since it's a value and not a variable and um, the 140 pixel so it's big right so again basically all the CSS things you can control from here and right, uh, green okay so now you can see clearly you can give height anything so style update when you click on style update it would do this okay now background color it would change now you can pass through a button and give a on click and make the change the styling okay so you can just do say click uh, you can say update styles <coughs> and you define this function you can come here define this use that variable background color equal to light um, purple this dot font size equal to say 12 pixel all right I click on it nothing happens why because have we given the same class name yes we have and background color background size all right let's see some error okay so no error on click but just nothing is happening and <coughs> this dot font size let's see what maybe light purple is not the color so yep that's the thing so now you see the font size is reduced and I'm going to hike it to 40 so see initially let me make it 10 it's small I click on it it becomes big and the background changes so basically all I'm doing is changing the property through inline styling okay that is what ng style is used for ng model again we have seen that earlier also during um, the two-way data binding but I'll quickly throw in a simple example for you so you can recollect and recap we are going to use banana model and you're going to write ng capital M model and then equal to you're going to give a name <coughs> and you can give a placeholder and say enter text and close this input and we'll start a paragraph and say hello and we are going to put a name okay it will give error because we have not defined this particular uh, variable so in the component class just throw in something called name equal to empty initially alright and what is the name here and that is giving error because we need to import forms module now they should go away it's good now see here I'll enter some text arc tutorials <coughs> and you can see here that it's automatically printing the name below because you have binded the data whatever you type here comes here right so these are uh, simple examples basically um, <coughs> or you can just use a break and enter arc tutorials and the same text is carry forwarded here okay so these are the simple examples of ng class ng style ng model to help you get familiarized with the syntax and the usage okay i hope it's clear because this is what we'll be using when you're working on a real-time project okay you can use conditional operators you can use inside the expressions you can write conditional operator also and you can bind the variable also that's all um, I think for the attribute directives ng class ng style and ng model right now a lot of times people ask me questions that do we, do we always need to use a click event to use that no you don't have to do that you can you can choose not to have it and just have the color that's also fine see but now it will always be green it won't change the color when you had the button when you click on it it would change something right so that's the difference between having a click event 
you can have you can use ng class ng style ng model anywhere inside any component make sure that you import common module and forms module that's all you need to remember all right cool thank you so much for joining in this episode i'll create a custom directive in the next episode and you're going to have fun to create your own directives thank you so much for joining if you like my work in tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much see you in the next episode